Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. It never fails. Every time I go to record, she squeaks her toy. But, yes, I'm talking about you. Zoe. Hey guys, it's Bianca. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a very casual sit-down video where I talk to you guys about how my eight-week ultrasound went, my first ultrasound appointment, and how I'm feeling and what I'm looking forward to in the next couple of weeks. So, for those of you that don't know, I am pregnant, and this is our first baby, and I had uploaded a huge like life update vlog where I talk about the pregnancy and everything, and I show you guys how I took the test and my reaction. I will link it up here in the card somewhere or down below in the description box if you are interested in watching that first and then coming back to watch this. As of today, I am 11 weeks and 3 days and baby is the size of a fig, so still very tiny. Let's talk about first my first ultrasound appointment. So. I had scheduled my eight week ultrasound for January 2nd and up until that point my OB nurse had said you know treat your body and yourself as if you are pregnant you know eat healthy all of that good stuff take a prenatal which I had already been doing I have been taking a prenatal vitamin since we um, decided to start trying the day came for me to do the ultrasound and of course like this is totally new for me and I have no idea what to expect so I go in with my husband and I'm literally holding my breath like we get into the room with the ultrasound tech everyone was super nice and made me feel really comfortable and it kind of all was just a blur at first because I was trying to take everything in um, I wanted to record video or take photo, but I also wanted to be in the moment and I knew that this was like a really special moment So I didn't want to try and be occupied with getting footage or anything like that But I will insert a photo of little baby so you guys can see what it looked like on the ultrasound and so I was really anxious because before the appointment time had come up of course like social media and the algorithm like switched up on me and I started seeing videos of women going in for their scans and finding out that they're carrying twins when twins don't run in their family and so that planted the seed in my brain and my anxiety and I was like knowing me that's gonna happen I'm laying there and they're getting ready to do the scan and I'm literally like just staring at the screen like I don't even think I was blinking I was just like waiting to see what was gonna come up luckily I mean I would have been happy with two you know whatever God blesses us with but I was really like it was silly of me to think it would be twins because Twins don't run in my family, they don't run in my husband's family, so it was kind of a silly thought to like put in my brain to begin with. Everything was healthy, um, little Bean was measuring really good, they showed the heartbeat, but you couldn't really hear it because it was so fast. I think they said it was like 170 beats per minute, but it was really surreal. I didn't get emotional or anything, it was just more so like, whoa, like that's that's in me right now like a, a, a little baby is in me right now it was just amazing to know that again this is actually happening for us I was so worried because you know I was born early I was a preemie baby I do have a video on that as well I'll link it down below on like my story I didn't know if that would affect my fertility chances so to know and see on the screen finally at eight weeks and a couple of days that like this is your baby you know everything is good everything's measuring good it was just so crazy to like finally know 
and have confirmation that everything is healthy so far. We're just so incredibly blessed and grateful to be going through this. Yeah, everything went really well for the first ultrasound. I do go back in about a week or so I'm at, for my 12 week scan. And Friday, I go to get my blood work done. Both of my feet have fallen asleep. Both of my feet are asleep right now. Okay. So as far as what I would want, whether it's a boy or a girl, I, it really comes down to having it be healthy. Having the baby be healthy is, is the main priority. If I had a preference or like if I could choose, I would love a girl, but you know, whatever we're blessed with, a boy or a girl, as long as it's healthy, that's the biggest um, priority. But I would love a girl, I would love a boy for my husband, you know, like, could I be a boy mom? Maybe. My sister had a boy first, so I don't know if that means anything, but I would love a little girl. I think it would be so sweet. A boy would be great too though, so like, I really can't definitively say one or the other. But I definitely would want, you know, the baby to be healthy and everything. We have a lot of girl names, and we have a few boy names. I think we have eight girl names and six or seven boy names. And I've had those lists on my phone, like, since before we were even trying. Once we know the gender, everything else I feel like is just gonna snowball. Um, you know, I'll be able to get clothes and, you know, plan out nursery themes and everything. Um, it's just gonna be so much fun. And I'm gonna document as much as possible. I'm gonna try definitely to document a the gender reveal. If not, I'll post photos on my Instagram if I don't get a video up of that um, so definitely follow me over there i'm sending love and baby dust and positive vibes to those who are still on their journey to um become pregnant and to have a baby you know whether it's biologically yours or if you go through ivf or adoption you know like i feel like everyone should feel this like unconditional love that you have like, I, I already love this this little bean <laughs> so much. Like, and I don't even know what it looks like. Like, we don't know features or anything. So, I'm really excited to take you guys along this journey. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if you guys want to see more baby content i do have some baby clothes and stuff already that i would love to show you guys if you guys are interested in that let me know other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye everyone